I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Tropico. This is part of my six-pack series, and as you see, we are already in the game. Uh, that is because, however this uh, version of the game runs, this is the GOG version, uh, apparently the title slash menu screen is in a different window than the actual game, and so when I try and swap between the two, it ends my recording because it thinks I'm done. Uh, but anyway, so here we are uh, in the very first Tropico, and it has a lot of similarities to pretty much all the other Tropicos, except maybe Tropico 2, uh, which is, is good. It's very formulae formulaic, uh, kind of like the Anno series. But uh, it's also pretty challenging, and I guess at the time was so different and or difficult that the developers felt like putting in three different tutorials. The game actually has a tutorial which sort of teaches you the basics. Uh, there are three different missions to or three different campaigns, I guess, to go through that uh, teach you other basics more in depth. And then there's the manual, which actually has a quick start guide, and uh, we'll kind of be following the uh, the steps in that. Um, so, first thing that is recommended is obviously to survey the island. And so we'll be looking here at our info mode, and specifically I'm going to be looking at crops. Uh, we've got four different farms here, and each farm will sustain 30 people when it is switched to food. Um, there are other cash crops, but we'll be looking and seeing what I, I have available here. So right away, corn is a pretty good one. Uh, pineapple, not so much. Coffee prefers to be up on hills, so we'll have to maybe look at that later. Sugar. Uh, tobacco. Tobacco might be good for this one. We want to switch two of these, according to the guide, uh, to cash crops right away. But we'll be growing so fast eventually I'm going to need to probably move that or prevent that from happening. Papaya. Okay, well, not a lot of choices actually to do that, so looks like I'll be swapping to tobacco for some of these, which is not great because if I was able to say swap to banana or something, this would act as a cash crop and feed my people. The game takes care of exports for you, so I don't really get a chance to say, you know, this portion uh, save for exports or something like that. The game will decide uh, how much it will have bought directly, people will go to the farms to buy their food, or I can build restaurants and marketplaces that they will take the food to, and then they'll buy the food from there. Um, when you start seeing income directly, that kind of implies that it's going straight to the dock to be exported. So the game manages that for you, but it's not, I, I would rather have some of that control myself. Um, so, so at least early on, we want one of these farms to be different. And so, I think that, uh, oh, I'm going to select this one and change this one to tobacco. So, the game doesn't really tell you this, and uh, at least not that I remember, but this green patch here, you actually want these buildings to be next to it. Uh, over time, kind of like in Tropico 6, uh, over time, fertilities will diminish and so kind of have to come back and check on your farms every now and then to make sure that they're still getting the crop um, but from playing Tropico 2 Tropico 2 tells you specifically to put your industries and whatnot on the edge of the green so like if I was to put a green or a, a farm in the middle of the green that would kill the fertile land I do not recall that being hinted at Maybe I just wasn't paying attention uh, in this game. So, when I was playing through this the first time, I just would plunk down farms and uh, r right into the middle of the green, and uh, so that was killing things right away. So, hopefully, just being on the edge of this here will kind of help. And, and maybe if I do this tobacco as well, I'm very... Uh, I'm, I'm leery of doing that, though, because this population is going to go up right away. Already we need two farms, uh, and once we get 60, we'll need three farms. So I think maybe I'll just save those as corn. That is going to diminish a little bit of my early building. 
uh, or my, my early income, I should say. Uh, so we have a Teamsters office, which will move things on the island, and we have a construction office, which is going to be very important. Uh, first thing I should be doing, according to the quick start, is increasing my wages. Now, there's an interesting uh, thing down here where if you shift-click on the coin, uh, it will increase pay for every construction office. But if you control click, it changes the wages for all of your uneducated workers. So because this is a building that requires uneducated workers, by doing this, uh, it affects all un uneducated buildings. We'll switch it up to seven. Um, so it obviously works for your educated and then your college educated. So we can see that this bumped up the requirements here, but really I don't think I need this many people or at least it's implied I don't need this many people because right away there's not going to be much for me to move um, and then the dock we can also apparently turn down in fact I should have done that before I bumped up their wages because as soon as I bumped up to their wages I added a guy in there I could fire him but uh, that also creates a little bit of uh, bad feelings on their part so I also have a fort here that I can develop for tourist purposes. Uh, the museum I think is good because it works for tourists and locals to make money. Uh, it does cost 2500 though and that is rather expensive right away. Uh, you see I've also got my shacks. People like to live next to where they work so I should actually <coughs> come in here and build a tenement. Now the bunk houses are a good I guess starter house it gets people out of the shacks and they are very quick to build. They are also very cheap. Um, houses are a little bit better. Houses versus country houses. I'm not really sure what the difference is other than maybe just the house is slightly better quality than country house because rent wise that you can collect from these uh, they're both the same. Tenements however are very very cheap. They only cost a dollar or a peso to move into. So I'm going to put this down here and strangely it says to put it next to the palace and I'm only thinking that maybe that's because there's uh, security in this. Uh, your tenements do cause crime, but uh, anyway, we'll just let that run and start building up. So looking at the rest of my island, uh, if we look here at the overlays, looking for mining materials. This is a good thing to begin exporting but it is very expensive and takes a lot of time. We have a lot of gold in this island. That's pretty good. Um, so when I played, when I when I started playing this game uh, I started on just a random map and the customization for your maps is, is actually pretty good. It's actually very in-depth. Um, I just chose all of the basic starter stuff, but I did increase the size of the island a little bit. Uh, it, it's kind of neat that you can actually adjust the uh, the land mass as well as the elevation of your island. And the elevation affects things like what crops can grow where, um, as well as things like the development of this. So looking at that, I, I think that uh, we'll probably develop the island this way a little bit. It, probably would be better to build another dock over on this end at some point and have the uh, the gold mines right there so that they can travel closer to sell stuff because otherwise they have to walk all the way here and uh, the walking distance does have large impact because people being next to where they want to work if you have to travel all the way here to get to your mine job uh, they will only work so long during a day and so if uh, if they that that includes them walking to work so if they are walking to work then that is going to reduce the amount of time that they get to work when they're at their job and then they go back home so it really is good to develop uh, close to where you need to be this just isn't really the best. So if we're going to develop an industry, and we really should, uh, I guess that logging is probably the way to go. There it is, the logging camp. So I've got good uh, 
got good trees right there, but that is also probably where I want to develop the town. Uh, this will be a good tourist attraction, but we also, if we're going to do tourism, want a beach, uh, which is right there. But that's completely opposite end of the island, so maybe I'll co-opt a little bit of this beach down here. Now, the thing about uh, the walking requirements is that uh, people will be affected by the things they actually walk by, and so if you have a nice area, they'll be happier as they go about their day. And uh, I, th I think that has an impact on tourists as well. Uh, pause for your, a minute here. So the, the keys are kind of interesting, the hot keys for this game. Uh, they actually are pretty intuitive. Um, for one thing, there is a grid that you can turn on with G. Now the grid, the greed, uh, is actually important because the level or the grade of the land will actually de depend upon and affect uh, building times and uh, where you can put things because the builders will actually level out the ground to put buildings down on. So when I put this here, I was probably putting it on a hill and so that's why it seemed to take so long. Uh, obviously it's a bigger building so it takes long anyway, but um, they were probably leveling out the land so I need to actually be more mindful of this in the future. We are kind of on a hilly island, so it's going to impact a lot of my development. Um, but there's also the ability to move out the trees with T. The clouds are weather, so that's W. And then the pause is actually the pause key on the keyboard. It's not P, it is the pause key. I don't think I've ever in my life used the pause key for that sort of thing. Um, right, so we now, now that we've got our our tenement people will be moving in uh, it is as you can see just one dollar a month so hopefully that will get some of them out of their shacks uh, we are going to then want to develop that industry so I think I will put the logging camp here and uh, just so I'm not tearing down all the trees I will put it at the edge and the logging camp once it develops has a few other improvements one increases or decreases the amount of time that it takes to uh, cut down the trees, so that'll probably be my first improvement. And then there's the horticulture station allowing me to regenerate these trees back. I can also change it so that uh, we can have either clear cutting or go to selective harvest. Selective harvest leaves some trees around, but it means they'll have to walk a little further to chop them all down. So I could let them build in this radius or cut down in this radius, but I think if I switch that later, uh, that will kind of keep them in this area right here, which will be good. Uh, okay. So I also, once that is done, uh, I will also want to, well, you know, I could probably prioritize that and then put down a, what is it, another construction office. And that construction office is going to go out here because I do want them to be prepared for uh, development out here so I can get that mine going. Um, I can put roads down. You don't have to build the long roads in this game. Um, so, but I also need to be mindful of my future farming opportunities. So papaya, being a good food source, will come up on these hills. Uh, but I will also look for good cash crops such as coffee which I don't have a lot of building space for but I could build it right there sugar uh, which this is apparently where the weather is right now sugar seems to be very difficult to actually get in a good place tobacco uh, okay well maybe we want to put some tobacco farms along the foothill there foot of the hill either that or down in this valley <coughs> Banana, put along the edge there, and again papaya. So maybe develop some papaya, although, you know, putting this next to a gold mine, probably not a great idea, but uh, we'll be able to develop here, we'll be able to develop a little bit along here. I just need to be able to balance my food with my uh, industry, so, yeah, okay. Well, we'll grab this construction office and we will 
try and find a fairly level place to build it and I'll put it right there. Now I'm also going to want to build more housing out here and so I'll probably put an apartment out here just so we have people close to their jobs. Um, let's go back and let it go for a bit. So the farms are going to take a while to become profitable. Uh, they take a full year to replant or plant a crop and then for whatever reason it takes a year after it's grown to process it and take it to the dock. So this tobacco might not be viable for me for quite some time. But we'll have to pay attention and see, uh, see how well that works out. I don't want to put down a road early, I don't think, because that actually takes a long time for them. They, uh, they will spend much of their time building that road. Export of papaya has increased. We should grow papaya. Well, I agree. But uh, I also would like to have these people focus on building a little, a little bit first. And you could actually see there they were leveling out the land. Now they're actually building it, so that's good. So just like always, we have uh, all the all the various things. We got to keep people happy. We got to keep them happy in their different factions. Um, let's get happiness here. So right now, housing quality is what they really want. Uh, so we need to be building something a little bit better. They're very unhappy. We also have our Cold War relations. Uh, let's look at the factions here. Religious faction, not too good. Uh, so a lot of this is also dependent upon the leader that you choose. So when you choose a map, you can also choose a leader uh, for the archetype. And where is that at? Ah, view character. Uh, so the one I chose is just the default, Che Guevara. Uh, so he's got all these bonuses and uh, detriments. But uh, it's, as you would expect, it's, it's revolutionaries and... Uh, other other uh, famous figures, including Lou Bega, because apparently in the German version of the game, Mambo Number no. Five was licensed to be in the soundtrack. Uh, you'll notice I don't have the soundtrack playing. That is because it is heavily copywritten for YouTube, so that sucks. Um, all right, so I could improve their production right now by dumping a lot of money on this. But I think I'll save up, because a mine actually is quite expensive. It's going to cost me 3000 Now, I, you know, I could go for something other than gold. I don't have a lot of iron. Uh, because dependent upon what you are doing for industry, that will change uh, change the jobs you can have. Um, the game recommends, or at least the manual recommends, that you go for diversity over quantity. So, rather than have a ton of the same building, it's better to have, have uh, different types of uh, options, especially for entertainment. So, putting down a bunch of pubs and, and cheap buildings aren't going to actually be that great, unless you change that, unless you diversify them a little bit. What I mean by that is uh, you can change, like, your, where is it, leisure. So I can make a pub, uh, but I can make a pub go for different, different class levels. So I could make the pub have a policy where it will only serve wealthy citizens or tourists, for example. Okay, so now that we've got this, and you'll notice here that different names pop up. When you click on them, you can change them, but it says for the city. So, for some reason, the game seems to think that these tiny little areas here count for cities. That's a little weird to me. But, uh, now that we've done that, let's put down a couple bunkhouses out here, just so we get some early people to live out here. I'll put down a mine, and then I'm probably going to build an apartment. Uh, 
put down a mine for gold, and we want it to be right on the edge. So we'll, I guess, get it right there. And let things commence. Uh, I've also set the time limit to this to be 50 years. And so the game will end at 50. Uh, I have yet to make it that far. And the game will pop in every now and then with uh, sort of hints and, and tricks telling you uh, what you should be building towards and doing next. And the geese like to migrate very loudly. Okay, we're approaching probably the end of what I can do here. So uh, I may also, depending on how quickly they build this stuff, may also want to start expanding my farms because that tobacco, while it's good for export, Lack of a church. Okay, well, that's what they want instead. Uh, the game is a, a little bit hectic, just because I would like to spend some time waiting and, and building things up the way I want, but then the demands of your people come in, and they're actually pretty important. And they're important because uh, you have elections. And so if you do not take care of needs in a certain amount of time, obviously that is going to hamper that. Let's increase this. So we can get some people living out here. And hopefully these people living out here will actually be working here. Uh, we've got laborers, so that means they are working for the construction office. So maybe instead of that... Uh, is it services? Services, there we go. Let's build a church. I'll build a church sort of right here in the middle of everything. And we will prioritize that first. So that they are... Well, it looks like they're already building the mine, so... So much for that. Now, we're going to need a high school educated worker to work here. I'm probably just going to buy one, or hire one, for starters. But the next one... Next couple buildings beyond this I'm going to want to build are going to be a high school uh, clinic and just kind of go from there. So this gives me a booster right here, but I'm going to require electricity. Electricity seems to be the one thing that is very difficult for me to sustain. Uh, as soon as I build one, that seems to be where things start going wrong. And we are almost at 90, so... 90 people. So uh, what that means is that I'm about to lose my sustainability here, because once it goes beyond 3, people are going to start starving. Uh, one way to sort of fix and or supplement the food situation is to pause and build a fisherman's wharf. Uh, fishing is good because we can also use its produce to can. So I can start an industry to get some money out of that. Unfortunately, the way the island is built seems to be very difficult. Okay, I guess I can put it there. But let's get us another... Actually, let's go to... Ah, oh, shit, it was right there. I'm not a fan of having to cycle through stuff like this. Okay. So if I put... I'd like to put it somewhere flatter. It kind of works there, actually. But maybe I'd be better off putting it over here. Seeing that's how that's where it all grows. But bearing in mind that this is also where I want other crops to grow. Uh, this is probably pretty good. Uh, it would be right in the middle, and it's on a hill. So, but it's also near the darker green, which is also near the mine. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect the crops. But we'll put one there. I guess I could put another one. Maybe a little further down, so it's level. Uh, 
I don't know, again, it's, it's difficult for me to determine what I should be focusing on there. So we're going to need you to bring somebody in who's already here. They just were sitting on the boat, I guess, and we decided we needed them. I... which makes me wonder, because I think maybe I should have not done that, since I actually feel like I get a starter. Uh, when you put down a clinic, you get a starter, even though I don't have a college uh, to teach anybody, so... Okay. Well, that's good, I guess. Uh, things are going better. I should probably consider putting in a road. So we will spend some time doing that. The roads are a little bit wonky. Um, it looks like it goes all over the place, but once you actually start turning the land, it starts making sense. But let's get us a road. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Get us a road that goes to the docks, at least. And we'll probably want another road that goes off this way, up a hill, maybe not. about that. Okay. So that's good. They are actually spending some time to build that, and this is actually going pretty fast. So that is good. Maybe I've not been overbuilding. Uh, so, see there are a lot of shacks still. So I now need to put in the nicer apartment building. And why don't we build that sort of on the level here. We also need a high school, apparently. Let me pause for a minute here. Um, that's pretty level. So we'll build that right there. And then come back over here. And I guess go into services and build a high school. right over the shacks. Sure. It'll get rid of those shacks, but hopefully it'll force people into nicer homes. Um, I could also, I guess, maybe build a couple bunkhouses out here. Now, bunkhouses are really just temporary. They're really something that, uh, I mean, as you can see, we've already got people building shacks in between here, so they're really just something to give me uh, more of a guaranteed labor force. just someone who lives near the industry that they're going to be working at, but hopefully that apartment will take care of a good chunk of them. Uh, the apartment is going to be a little bit higher um, in in rent, so I could lower that, but uh, right now most people are filling in the tenement just because it is so cheap. But again, tenements give crime, and that's just not so great. Uh, after this, once we've got this going, and we've got uh, our own production of of uh, high school educated coming in, I think I'll start maybe working on a tourist industry. Uh, opening this up I think will be good. We are actually making some money, but we need to look at that because there is a caveat. Uh, most of it seems to be foreign aid. But uh, my profit is more than the foreign aid, so that means that Tropico itself is actually making money. Not from mining, though. Not from mining. But maybe that'll change here. Well, I'd like to put a little priority on some of this stuff. Looks like a shack is going down, which is good. But I will want to put in some of my own people. So if we look at the farming again... <coughs>
That one's having a pretty bad day. Its growth rate is really out here. But it seems to be losing a little bit of fertility, and that is something else that's probably not so great for me to be building right here. Um, it would almost be better for me to develop the town out this way, because as you can see, there is uh, some pretty good fertile land here. The population of Tropico grows quickly. We now have over 100 citizens. <laughs> and yet, many of them do not have decent places to live, so that needs to be taken care of. Uh... Presidente, I believe some of your people may be calling for an election next year. Well, okay. See, now, they do clear out a bit to build the build what they're building, but uh, I'm almost wondering if maybe the trees here are actually a detriment to me. If I need to actually have a lumber camp. Uh, poor housing. Okay, well, I mean... So you'll see here, as soon as I turn this down, it fills in immediately. So that is cost prohibitive to people. Uh, so if I pause here a min again for a minute, um, I might build another batch of housing. I think I'll build some country houses out here. Now, the problem with building the country houses is that uh, they're very cheap, but they're also single household. Even the bunk house has two households. Uh, the houses themselves are single house. So it provides housing, but you're really better off for cramming people into these. Sort of. Um, I guess I could put down another apartment building as well. But we're also going to want a clinic at some point. Okay. Well, I'm hoping that uh, we'll start getting more people coming in here. And I think maybe I'd, we'll have to buy one, hire one, to come in and start. Uh, if I also jump the wages up here just a little bit, that should keep the educated people reinforcing the high school so hopefully that will increase the amount of people that become educated uh, let's keep going and let's get to the election all right so you can look at the farms here they are mostly making their money from direct sales and the reason for that is because uh, we have no restaurants or anything. So people are going out to the farms to get their food. Uh, in that case, I will want to probably build a restaurant or a grocer inside the town somewhere. Uh, marketplace, I guess. So that they don't necessarily have to go so far. And especially as I'm building out, they are also going to be wandering to farms. Now they can probably just go to the papaya here but building a market nearby would also be good. Maybe maybe centrally here, so they all kind of come in. I don't know. Uh, I've got enough money definitely to be able to upgrade that. And probably that as well, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll hold an election. Hector Alonso. What is Hector's problem? wants a doctor. Okay. But you can kind of see the needs of your people. Uh, I guess through happiness. So, religion is actually pretty high now for some reason. Uh, religion tends to be the lowest one from uh, my playthroughs of this so far. Uh, entertainment is pretty bad. And healthcare. So, that looks like to be where we will be focusing. Uh, it can also probably help the job happiness a little bit by changing some of these sweatshops to Easy Does It. Uh, that 
decreases the amount of work that they have to do. Uh, but it also it kind of hurts me a little bit in that let's let's put in some more people into the Teamsters. Actually, we can probably open up the Teamsters again. Um, it also hurts me in that it lowers productivity. But keeping people happier closer to a, an election, I think, is a, a good thing. Another thing I could do is raise wages. We look at uh, wage disparity. It's not too bad, but it will get worse over time. Uh, this is already full. Yep, so we do have someone, but I think that's because they came out of my my guard shack here, so I'm going to increase wages there. Now I know that since that's higher priority than this, people are going to start going over here, but El Presidente needs to be protected. We will see here in a minute if I have won the election. I think I'll also open this up. The election's held next month. Oh, okay. And I won. Pretty handily. Uh, we now need more industry to keep the capitalists happy. Tourism will probably also help, but uh, I do have some options. So, I could build a cannery. Canneries help for a lot of other industries. It helps for uh, coffee, fish, and pineapple. It would help for fish. Uh, I don't have any coffee growing. So I could put a cannery kind of in the middle and uh, maybe run a road up from the fish. That would be a good cheap one to do. Uh, I could also just do a lumber mill change some of the base wood into lumber. That's a, a nice, cheap, easy way to do this. Uh, other things I could do, I've got some tobacco growing. A very little bit, but I could turn that into cigars. I probably should maybe plant another one. Um, so my options are kind of limited right now, but I could do a supply chain of lumber and then furniture. Alternatively, another lucrative choice would be <coughs> putting down maybe some sugar. I can actually do some sugar here pretty... but but you'll notice that the uh, the lines of the fertile ground for sugar have changed um, because it used to be down this little valley here and now it's it's not. Uh, there is an overlay for looking at rain I think so you can see where where that is. Um, so you know planting sugar is uh, questionable, I think, because this if this shifts and changes, well, you're not guaranteed that you're going to get it. Uh, but I guess I could put it here. It's out of range of the papaya. Or I could put it over here. But this is where I think I want the town to, to develop, so I don't want it to be too crazy over here. So I think I'll build another farm here and another farm here. And we'll get that up and running for industry. I think I will also build a lumber mill. And I'll build that over here. Uh, maybe towards the beach, because building it on a hill is going to take some time. Actually, this seems fairly level. We'll build that there, too. And we'll get the industry going first as priority. It is, however, going to require college or high school educated workers, so... It'd be good to have this running a little bit over time, so let's increase the wages there to incentivize more teachers. We still have a big problem with people, so I will need to be building more housing, uh, especially around here. I could probably bulldoze these. In fact, this one is empty, so I could just bulldoze that right away. And that is in this. And that one too. We don't want people living in those, we want them living in other buildings. And since I don't have a whole lot of options for that out here, I'll probably be building more houses. But yeah, you can see we're making a little bit more money off of that than we are the apartments. So, I don't know. Uh, it's going okay. Uh, we're making a fair amount of money, but I feel like that could be short to change and quick to change. Uh, 
probably also want to think about doing some tourism. Uh, you need to go a whole different route with tourism because you need to have hotels for people to come stay at, and I could eventually do a separate dock that will only take yachts where people hop off and be tourists. Uh, but as you can see, this is also very hilly terrain, so I, I kind of have a bad island here. It's going to take a long time to develop. But uh, anyway, I think it is time to end this one here, so I will see you next time.